Hey guys, Bearfox here and today I will be showing you guys what are the best and optimal settings to gain more FPS in Minecraft. This method will work on all versions from 1.12 to 1.17. So sit back, relax, I'll be covering both official and unofficial version of Minecraft. So this is a one stop shop for you guys. Keep watching this video till the end for better results and also I wanna let you guys know that you are loved and 96% of you guys have haven't yet subscribed to the channel so please consider subscribing we're really close to 20k subscribers and it is my dream to complete this target before 2022 now let's roll the intro all right let's move in stepwise firstly let's create a restore point to do this press your windows key and then type in create a restore point now over here Look in for the local disk C or any disk which has the system written over here. Then click on create and then name it anything. For me, I'm going to be naming it Minecraft FPS. Then hit create. We do this step to maintain your PC's original state preserved. So if anything goes wrong, you can revert back all the changes. Secondly, go to your Windows settings. For that, press Windows key and then type in settings. Now once you're here, search for background apps. Over here, make sure that your background apps are turned off or let apps run in the background is turned off. This will save a lot of memory being consumed by your PC in the background. Thirdly, in the settings, search for game mode. And make sure that game mode is enabled. It looks a very cliche step but you guys can see instant improvements in game. I also wanna let you guys know about our long time sponsor Booya, an app where you guys can share clips to get rewarded. They have this awesome event going on called Heavy Driver 2.0 so if you post clips of crashing into enemies using a vehicle you can get free stuffs in your Booya account. Pretty cool right? Click the link in the description below and get the rewards. Now for the official version of Minecraft, open up your Minecraft launcher. Then go to your installations folder and then go to edit. Now click on this more options and scroll down until you find the JVM arguments. Over here you'll find something called XMX2G. Now this 2G is a 2GB memory which is allocated to Minecraft. You guys can upscale it. For that, you must know what is your PC's RAM configuration. Just search for system information and then look for the install physical memory. For me, it's 16 GB so I can go up to 12 GB over here. Now once done with that, click on save. This is a very vital step. As soon as you increase the allocated memory of Minecraft, you will see significant FPS boost right away. For the unofficial version, I highly recommend you guys using T-Launcher. I'll leave links to everything in the blog in my description below, so make sure you guys go check it out. Once you download and install T-Launcher, now log into your account and then choose the updated version of Minecraft. Then you'll find the settings gear in the bottom right section. Then click on settings. Over here, you guys will see the resolution of your game will be running and you guys will see the memory allocation slider over here. The best part is that it automatically detects your RAM so you don't need to search anything. You can just scroll it up or down. I also recommend you guys using T-Launcher as it is more optimized and fast. You can even sign in through your Mojang account. As you guys can see, I have two accounts over here and the other one is Mojang account. The benefit of using T-Launcher is that you have a much simple settings console. You don't have to run editing the files or changing the launch codes. Everything is present in the UI itself. The best part is, you can install Forge or Forge Optifine or just Optifine to any version of Minecraft at a click, which I like the most. Also, I hope that you have installed Optifine. If not, just find the updated version of Minecraft which you want to install and then just select the Optifine version. This will automatically install Optifine right in your Minecraft directory so you don't have to do anything else. It is a simple mod which increases FPS in game. It auto balances the texture out there so the game looks more colorful and plain. 
if you have Optifine installed, you guys can also install shader packs which I'll be talking about in the next video. Once done with these steps, download the Minecraft FPS pack, I'll be leaving a link to this in the description below. Once you downloaded this, extract the files and it should look like this. The first folder which says MSI mode tool. Just open up this file as administrator. Now once you are here, locate your graphics card. It will look something like this. It says NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2070 Super. Now I'm using an RTX 2070 Super just for demonstration purposes because I don't have any other graphics card. But over here, click on this undefined button and then choose high and then hit apply. This will automatically put your graphics card priority to high. That means your graphics will load much faster. Now go back to the same folder and then open up the second file. It says anti-tracking.batch. All you have to do is right click and run this file as administrator. After doing this second step, open up the third file and you'll find Bearfox power plan. All you have to do is right click and run this as administrator as well. As soon as you do it, you guys can see success, the power plan has been imported and activated. This will do nothing but change your current power plan and it will automatically apply the best settings for your PC to get more FPS even if you're using the Intel HD graphics. Last but not the least is the Optifine tweaks. Now this one I recommend for the people who don't have any graphics card and just playing on their Intel graphics. This one is for you. If you have installed Optifine, then open up this Optifine folder and then just apply these Optifine settings right away. Now you don't have to do anything in game, everything has been applied and if you open up Minecraft, it will go boom. Just by following these steps, I hope you might have seen significant changes in Minecraft. Let me know if this worked for you in the comment section below. See you guys in the next video. Until then, stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox, and also consider hitting the subscribe button. Stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox, and peace out.